So what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now, this video is not really going to have any much editing or special effects in it. And that's just because I have something to tell you guys. So now, I have a story for you. And it's very interesting. So on Monday, March 18th, I woke up not feeling so well. But I went to school anyway because I had tennis tryouts and I was really excited for that. And now, those did not go well because... It was terrible. I had chills. I had a cough. It was just not going great. So now I come home and I feel really dizzy and I just go lay on the couch, right? Like a normal sick person would do. And then my mom takes me to urgent care to find out what's wrong with me. That's the next day, Tuesday. Mom takes me to urgent care to find out what's wrong. Um, we wait a heck of a long time because there's only one doctor, which makes no sense. Like you're really that understaffed. And anyway, we go there, we got tested for flu, strep, COVID, everything, all negative. So then, the, that left us with no answers, obviously. So now what we do is on Wednesday, we go to the doctor, and she tests me again for the same thing, all negative. And she tells us to get an x-ray, because my lungs sounded clear, but there was just something suspicious about it or whatever, I don't know. So I go, I go, we go upstairs, we get the x-ray, everything seems fine, right? We go home, I lay on the couch for a little, take a nap, whatever. And then later, a few hours later, my mom gets a call, and it's the x-ray people, and they said that my right lung had collapsed. Like that. And so now, this is pretty scary at first, because like, oh my gosh, what does that mean? Do I feel anything? Like, I was just going through a wide range of emotions. And now... That was very interesting. So now, the next day, we go to the emergency room, and I throw up. But it is good in a way, because it was it made us get into the emergency room like quicker than other people who were waiting there for more than an hour. It was very crowded, by the way. So anyway, I go to the emergency room. I get in, right? They lay me down. I rest a little. They put an IV in. I hate IVs. Like, they're not they're not terrible, but they're not fun. So, anyway, I go lay down, right? They get the IV, and we're admitted to the hospital around, like, 2 a.m. It was miserable. It was very miserable. And so now, funny story, actually. When we got admitted, there were no rooms available, so we had to get the family lounge. <laughs> Literally, the family lounge. They just took a bed, put it there, and it's like, yeah, I just sleep here. It was funny. So then, we find out that they're going to do a biopsy on my lung, right, to find out what's going on, and what that basically means is they put you to sleep for a few hours, they go in, it's kind of like a surgery, they go in, they take a sample, and bring it to a lab, study it, do whatever they want with it, and, you know, basically just study it, and once they're done, they'll come back to you and return the results, so that's what they did, and I was in the ICU for a while, and then they come back, and we get the results, and I have a carcinoma in my right lung. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, it is basically a tumor or a cancer that grows. It can grow in your pancreas, your lungs, your colon. I think there's one more, but I don't remember. But anyway, that's what's been stopping or making me cough and making me wheeze when I breathe, which was very scary at first when I found out. But it's not that scary. So now, thankfully, carcinomas are very treatable, especially in teenagers and younger kids, as opposed to older people. And I'm going to be okay. Don't worry. I'm not going to die. It's not like it has not spread. It's not going to spread, right? I'm going to have a surgery. They're going to surgically remove it. And I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be in the hospital for a few more days, though, because... They have to monitor you for, like, at least 36 hours after the surgery, which is very annoying. It's not fun, and it's not short, and it's going to be a while. So, we have not found out when I'm going to get the surgery yet. Hopefully it's soon, because I really don't want this thing to spread. But I just wanted to let you guys know, I am totally okay, except for the cough, obviously. Um, I am fine, I am active, right? Hopefully I'll still be able to make videos before the surgery. After the surgery, 
might be a little hard. So I might pause for like a month or so. But yeah, I just want to let you guys know I am totally fine. I'm going to be okay. And yeah, thank you so much for guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.